Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. The incident which took place at the gates of the Kingston Public Hospital, we have identified the deceased person to be Robert Marley and he's from a Golden Heights address. We have identified also a main suspect, Evroy Smith, otherwise called Little Giant, and these are for Pink Lane address in Kingston 14, and we are asking him to surrender to the police at Denham Town CIB no later than 6 p.m. on Thursday. Yes, and we have realized too that this particular incident have caused some amount of concern to our medical staff and hospital workers at the KPH. We have increased our security forces presence in and around the area and will continue with these efforts to reassure our health, health workers and provide a safe environment for them to traverse to and from work. Two men were shot on Wednesday evening just outside the gate of the Kingston Public Hospital in downtown Kingston. One of the men, Robert Marley, who was from a Golden Heights address in Kingston has since died. The other man, a drug chicken vendor, has been hospitalized. Reports from the police are that Manly was sitting next to the pan chicken man at the entrance to the hospital when a gunman approached on foot about 7 p.m. and opened fire, hitting both of them. Since the gun attack, the police have since identified Everett Smith, otherwise called Little Giant, of Pink Lane, Kingston 14. As a suspect, they have given him until tomorrow evening to report to them. Meanwhile, LK workers and others at the facility are concerned. Following the gun attack, the police have assured them that they will be beefing up their present in and around the public hospital. Two men are now dead after they were shot on West Avenue of Winwall Road in Kingston on Wednesday afternoon. The man identified by their alias, Yellow and Bingy, are said to be relatives, a uncle and his nephew. The shooting occurred after one in the afternoon. The security force are maintaining a present in a motor truck laden with cement and lumber overturned at a section of Red Hills Road in St. Andrew, just above the intersection with Queens Hill. On Wednesday, firefighters and police officers were at the scene. It is not immediately clear. If anyone was injured in the incident, motorists traverse that section of the usually busy thoroughfare should expect delay. This is the second motor truck to overturn on Red Hills Road in a week. The last truck overturned close to the foot of Red Hills Road. Police investigators are launched a man and far two gunmen who reported the rob a money transfer outlet of cash and adopted a female employee of the entity in Salem in Runaway Bay, St. Anne's. On Wednesday, the amount stolen from the establishment has not yet been determined. Report reaching news are that at about 12.30 p.m., two masked men entered the outlet with one brandish a firearm and demanded money from the cashier. When the demand was not met, the accomplice reportedly used a hammer to smash the glass, shield at the counter, and then forcibly took and determined some of cash from the establishment. During the incident, it is reported that an armed confrontation developed between the gunman and the licensed firearm holder, a female employee who was used as a human shield by the gunman was reportedly taken from the premises but released unarmed, a short distance away from the business outlet. The man then made their escape from the area. The police were subsequently contacted and a probe has been launched into the incident. A woman accused of dosing her sister-in-law with hot water during a three-person brawl has been found not guilty of unlawful wounded. The judge ruled that Jordan Atkinson, who had initially been charged with assault occasion grievous body arm, acting in self-defense. According to the prosecutioner, the incident took place on August 18, 2021 at Barnett Oval in St. James. The complainant who was having issue with Louis Atkinson, who is her sister-in-law, went upstairs to have a conversation with her. Subsequently, Louis Atkinson contacted her husband, who is the complainant's brother. Upon his arrival at the premises, an argument ensued between all three. Stone was thrown from upstairs, and the complainant was allegedly hit, with one causing her to run upstairs. 
her brother allegedly threw a machete in her direction and her way up stays injured. One of her uncles had reached Lewis against the doorway. The complainant was dosed with hot water. She sustained burns to her chest and face. The case went to trial on October 5 and Lewis Atkinson claimed self-defense. On October 30, her attorney, John Trail, made its closed submission. In a ruling on Monday, presiding judge Keisha Grand Price stated that the sole issue for the tribunal to consider is whether or not the accused woman was acting in self-defense at the time of the attack. Looking at the case, it was not a situation where water was throwing from upstairs to downstairs, the complainant was in a rage from morning so much so that the accused woman had to call her husband for assistance he had to leave work and come to her rescue. The judge said, this incident did not take place in the yard downstairs. She continued, the complainant went up flight upstairs even though she was attacked, hurting and bleeding. She still went in a rage towards the accused. The judge stated that there was evidence on the defense case that Lewis Atkinson acted in self-defense, emphasizing that it was, it was a lawful attack. It is a very unfortunate situation, but one must learn to exercise self-control. For this reason, I found her, found her not guilty. Grand Price ruled. Somebody was badly hurt. You was also hurt. And this is not the way we resolve issue. If something isn't working out, you move away, the judge said, before allowing Lewis Akinsa to leave. One month after schoolboy was allegedly beaten by another boy, accusing widespread debate, an investigation has been launched into alleged case of sexual, sexual assault of a 14 years old schoolgirl by an older student at the BB Coke High School in, on Tuesday. A senior school official confirmed that the police have been called into to probe the matter. I am aware. However, the matter is being investigated, so I can't comment on it. But I was made aware of the alleged incident. The matter is being investigated. I cannot comment on it at this moment, the source said. The news was told that by a reliable source that the grade 9 girl was reportedly sexual assaulted. In a bathroom at the school compound, sometime on Tuesday, alleged by a grade 11 boy, they were reportedly concerned as how the matter is being treated by the police and health officials. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Superintendent, College Minor, confirmed that the police are investigating the incident. I am aware the matter is still under investigation. I do not have all the facts to comment. At this time, he said on Thursday, the incident following last month brutal beating of 14 years old boy at the school alleged by a 15 years old boy. The September 28th in incident resulted in the younger student being hospitalized for a week after he was beaten unconscious alleged by the grade 11 boys for stepping on her shoes. A group of boys had to lift the then injured child and walk 530 meters from the school throughout the busy town of Junction to a doctor office.